Hello, hello! Today let's learn how to draw and paint a Christmas sock. For this you will need something to paint in and may it be a binder clip to hold it together or you could just use a normal paper, a pencil, maybe eraser, a fine liner, it could be any kind of fine liner or pilot pen or even alcohol pen as long as it's waterproof, paintbrush, a rag and some paints. And that's it. Oh, and maybe a reference if you want to. Of course you can use a real reference of a real, of a real Christmas sock, but I will just use this baby sock because it's easier to fit in the frame. So first, how do we draw a sock? I usually start with this opening because that's the easiest for me. And we just make a very squashed oval or ellipse for that. Then we go straight down, make a curve, another curve and straight up. You can make it in several designs and see which one you prefer. You can make a big opening and then a small sock. Or you can make some kind of a high knee sock. You can also play around with the shape of the heel. You can make it really prominent, you could even add some markings of stitching or you can make it less prominent. Once you decide which kind of design you like, paint, let's draw it in our journal and then let's paint it. I like to leave some room at the top because I want to fill it up. Just a gentle curve and now we draw the cuff. You can make it zigzag or not. For the loop I just make this kind of oval and then I fill it in. Now we can add some decorations. Here in Europe it's usually St. Nicholas that brings presents into socks but sometimes Santa as well. And St. Nicholas always brings some citruses and dried fruits and nuts. He also brings these sugar the devil like creatures. And you can read more about that on my blog if you're interested in these traditions. You don't need to follow your lines exact, you can just use them as a guideline. We have to wait for this to dry before we erase it and then we erase the pencil marks. Now I'm ready to paint. I first paint the base coat and while the paint is still wet I try to add some shading. The easiest way to do it is to use the same color, just a, just a darker shade. But of course you can shade with other colors as well. This is not a watercolor paper. So it makes everything a little bit more challenging. But it's still doable. Oops. Bled through. That's what I will just tap it and let it dry. While the bottom part is drying, we can work on the upper part. Black peat or Krampus or Parkel was in the past believed to steal naughty children, but from what I've heard in our places, he usually just gave a stick or a coal to them. Nowadays, I think he retired. I don't think I've heard anyone getting any of those gifts in his or her sock. I guess our children are very well behaved in the last 40 years. In German-speaking countries and those influenced by them, it is the custom that a sock, a shoe or a boot is left out on the 5th for St. Nicholas, to fill during the night with gifts. Sometimes kids fill the shoes with gifts for St. Nicholas and his helpers, with drawings, carrots, cookies and so on. 
and in other parts a glass of milk and cookies are left out for him to eat when he comes. For some contrast to the darker color here, it's always best to first color the things that have already certain color. I cannot paint my orange or mandarin blue, but I can paint the present blue. You want you can add some marks shadings and there you have it have a nice holiday see you next week